Hi, this is Patter. I wanted to give you a quick overview of what this Peerless Watercolor palette album turned out like. I think seeing it in pictures is one thing, but it's also great, um, hopefully, for you to see a flip through. The only problem with this video is going to be that there may be some glare from the um, acrylic album, so I apologize for that in advance. Um, but hopefully you'll still get a good idea of how I put this together and how um, easily this is to take with you on the go. It's really a great little album to use and it's sturdy. Um, even if you're just going to take it down in front of the television in watercolor, this thing travels beautifully. So let's uh, take a look. First of all, um, as you can see, I have, um, oh, there goes the glare. <laughs> I have a rubber band here that I think I got at Target. I don't remember, but I believe it was from Target. And then over here, you see my water brush. This is wonderful that it fits perfectly in the rings. Uh, and I, when I'm ready to use it, I just pull this out. Oops, normally it comes out very easily. Of course, now I'm showing you it's stuck on this little hook there. Um, anyway, I just take that out and it's ready to go. Um, I really like that that stays in there. As you can see, it's not going to fall out either. Um, it did get a little stuck there. It's not usually that tight, but um, it's definitely not going to fall out in your purse. Anyway, so to use this then, I just um, remove this... Uh, band, this rubber band, that again keeps it very nice in your bag as you're traveling so that it doesn't open up. Uh, one of the problems I felt that uh, some of the other palettes that I had seen on YouTube was that they were made out of paper. I felt like that would not travel easily. I was afraid I would bend that all up or just make a mess out of it. Um, so I love that this is just an acrylic album. Um, the lettering here is from some old quick cut letters that I had. I did not attach it to the front inside cover. Uh, there's actually uh, another piece of acetate that I added in here. I thought if I ever wanted to change the cover or do anything, I can just get rid of this piece of acetate and make something different. So I stuck the letters on there. I just used my Xyron and um, they attach very easily. Then you see my first uh, page here. I have my first bit of colors to use. Uh, I have yellows, oranges, and greens within this section. I just put a little tab over here so that you can see what's behind here. And then we flip to the second page. And again, I have another piece of acetate um, between the two pages. And the reason for that is uh, because if the colors are wet, if the paint is still wet, I don't want it to uh, get onto the other colors. That would certainly not be a good thing. And then um, then once we pass the greens, then we move into um, the blues and purples and pinks. And you can see those here. Again, always a piece of acetate in between the two pages. And here's our pinks. And now we're moving on to the reds and the browns. And then we're almost to the end of the album. And there we go. That's it. Um, you can see right here, you can see the glue dot um, when there is not another swatch on top of the one on the previous page. You will see the glue dot, but that does not bother me at all. Um, I just felt like using glue dots not only was quick and easy, it's also easy to come off if I need to remove them. So anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this quick little run through of this Peerless watercolor album. And I hope that you um, are able to find an acrylic album to use to make for your swatches and your palette. Thanks for stopping by. Have a blessed day.